Hey guys, it's Wally. That is the uh, the Feck Dean big ass barrel aged barley wine. Uh, second week in a row. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's homebrew. You know what? Let's see. Let's turn it around. All right, guys. It's Tuesday night. Tomorrow's homebrew. Wheezy. Ah, wheezy. Ow. Two days, two weeks in a row. Something's crazy happening. But anyway, that's the uh, the barley wine. You got that going on. So I'll talk about what I did yesterday. Hey guys. So I'll just have a short one this week. Not a whole lot to talk about. Um, I got some new O-ring picks. What do you about that? It's pretty exciting, right? Got some new um, seals for my SS Brew Tech Brew buckets. Um, yeah, I got some. Uh, I got some more um, grommets for uh, air poppets. Um, these little guys got some more of those. But anyway, that's not really the news. Um, one thing I did get, I got some more um, O-rings for my cam locks. These are too thick. Um, just a little bit, but I can't, I can't get the arms to close. If I try to close the arms, say, take like a adjustable close that dude down so it's on top of the arms. Let me show you guys. Do, do, do. Like that. And try to close it and the arms will bend. Uh, so they're definitely too big. Um, so like a Nats A is too big. So anyway. Because what's happening with that? Well otherwise the barley wine. Let's talk about the barley wine first. So the barley wine. What do I like about it? What I don't like about it. It's got a ton of vanilla, um, which if you guys buy vanilla extract, that's imitation vanilla extract in the store, you get a lot of those flavors from oak. So that does come from oak. So that's why you get it from oak barrels. Um, so there's a little bit of alcohol in it. Not much. <clears throat> I mean, as far as whiskey, um, it's, it's there. It's pretty subtle. Um, it's pretty creamy. Um, I'm not... 100% happy with the, with the with the carbonation on it. I know it's a 12% beer, so. I mean, the head's crap. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just worried. I'm thinking, do I need to carbonate it like a day or two more? Um, I mean, it's definitely carbonated. It's just that I'm not happy with it. But then again, it's a big honking beer. So I may just leave it alone. But besides that, I mean, the beer's awesome. The beer fresh. This beer fresh, I don't know if you guys watch Mike Dean's talk about his beer, but this beer fresh. I'm talking two weeks old, um, right at the, at the point where we're going to transfer from, from the fermenter to the barrel. This thing was like just crazy hoppy, crazy, like, um, like, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, uh, imagine like Hop Slam just that kind of just hop intense. It wasn't quite as syrupy or as like honey sweet as Hop Slam. Um, if you can imagine, maybe a little bit drier than Hop Slam, but something just like crazy in your face, just huge beer, uh, just hops. The, the nose on it was crazy, but that was back then. Um, it didn't take long for all that to kind of disappear for this to be just a big malt bomb. So, yeah. Um, I mean, really, if I had some friends and I had some some friends really um to make this again to make it and drink it fresh would be would be a crazy uh triple ipa but you, you don't need triple ipas like that in your life not all the time um not a five gallon batch anyway so anyway so let's talk about these o-rings so these are these are my old ones that i've taken out and i've replaced now these still worked fine um i am just kind of chasing i'm chasing a cavitation issue with my blickman riptide um, I mean, I, I can't, I can't find out where it's coming from, but it's getting air in it. And, um, sometimes that it just breaks the, the contact, the couple with the, ma with the magnet and the impeller. Um, I can't figure it out. Um, so I've emailed Blickman and it's been a while, um, because I'm busy and I'm with my Achilles and all that other shit. I just don't get down here. Haven't gotten down here in time to try to test and prove things out. Well, anyway, um, the other night I was down here trying to just, I replaced the O-rings, um, in my cam locks and had it cycling through 
um, I switched my dip tube and I did some other little things just trying to make sure it wasn't my dip tube well still um, it still wants to capitate and um, and this is after it runs for 20 minutes but anyway I so said just beat my head against the wall so I, I, I emailed Blickman again um, I think a week ago today a week ago yesterday and um, I haven't heard anything from them. So I emailed them again yesterday and I asked them if they were going to help me out. Um, so I haven't heard a shit from them. Um, so, I mean, I, I told the guy that I, I really don't even care if it's a warranty issue at this point in time. I just I just want some advice. Um, the only thing I haven't done is taken the um, taken the three-piece ball valve off and, and just directly put a, um, like a hose barb or a, or a, a female cam lock fitting like that on the on the threads of the of the stainless steel housing so that other than that i i don't know what else to do um so anyway i mean i i can limp along and get my brew day done i just can't run that thing wide open um and if i do for any period of time once i shut it down then good luck it won't it won't run wide open again after that so anyway um so that leads me to what i do yesterday i brewed a rye ipa yesterday and that's that's what you hear bubbling. It's going like crazy right now. So, um, let's go over the recipe real quick. Um, so the recipe right now. So it was 12 pounds of Pilsner. I mean, I, I didn't go by percentage. I just said, well, I'm going to give 12 pounds of Pilsner. Um, I've got two and a half pounds of rye. Um, I was only going to do two pounds, but I found a half a pound, actually eight ounces, 8.8 .8 ounces. So a little over half a pound, um, in my, in my storage container, um, has been vacuum sealed. So I've got two pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces of rye in there, which then isn't bad. It's about like, uh, it's about 14 some odd percent maybe. So 12 pounds of Pilsner, um, eight and a half pound, I mean, two and a half pounds of rye. Uh, a pound of carapils and a pound of uh, crystal 15. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole entire grist there. Um, so it's going to be on the light side. Um, um, let's see here. So it's a six gallon batch. Um, the hops, it's all um, all Sabro. So I've got one ounce at 60. Um, I got two ounces at, at uh, 15. Then I've got another two ounces at uh, zero uh, Whirlpool hops. I cooled down to 160. Whirlpool for 20, 20 minutes, I think it was, 25 minutes. Then I chilled, pitched two packages of USO5. Now, what I did at five minutes, I still had about an ounce and a half um, of uh, sweet orange peel, dried sweet orange peel that um, I had used with my uh, Matt Rect Brewery. Uh, collab pumpkin beer um so i threw an ounce of that in there at five minutes and yeah so my numbers um beer smith told me i should be about 1055 at eight gallons um pre-boil which is i you know i was at 1068 at seven and three quarters um gallons so and i i topped it by quite a bit then my my um Final post boil gravity uh, was 10.79, and that was just just a smidge over six gallons going in the fermenter. So it's a big beer. Um, I'm gonna dry hop this one in about a week's time with another two ounces of, of uh, Sabro. So this is gonna be all Sabro hops, um, no more, no less. Um, going into the fermenter, um, actually, it's been back up now. The mash um, I put in couple scoops of uh, rice holes because it is rye right but the mash smelled like rye bread so that was crazy um one thing i did differently uh, this brew than i've done in the past i actually i dosed my my hlt um with um lactic acid to get the ph down i got i got it down to five five um or five four um so I did that, and let's see here. So yeah, that's I mean that was really the only thing I didn't do that I've done differently than in the past. And I, like there's a handful of guys that that go ahead and dose their 
their sparge water. Just basically, I put all my salt additions in the mash. Um, and I uh, use lactic acid to bring the pH into range. Or if it's a dark beer, I'll use some baking soda to, to get my pH within range. So anyway, this time, um, but I never mess with my, my HLT. I always leave it, and it's, it's, it's RO water, so it's you know, about 7-ish, right? Um, so I went, I went ahead and put some um, lactic acid in and brought it down to 5.5. Five. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens if there's any noticeable change in my beer. Um, so then, yeah, I, I, I chilled, pitched uh, two packages of uh, US05 because it's basically a 1080 beer. Um, so it's a pretty good sized beer. So anyway, a couple weeks we'll find out what happens. Um, hopefully, it, it, um, hopefully it's pretty good. Um, I don't see why not. Um, first time I make a, made a rye IPA. So, we'll see what happens. So, anyway, guys, we'll see if I put another video out next week. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you'll see me in two weeks. Uh, maybe you'll see me in three weeks when I've got tasting notes. Um, so, anyway, tonight's Tuesday night. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So, then there's Thanksgiving Thursday. So, I'm going to smoke a, um, it's a decent, I think a six or seven pound turkey breast. Um, so yeah, then we'll do that. Then we're actually going to have Friendsgiving, um, Saturday. So don't worry about me. These are people that I've been hanging out with, um, ever since the lockdown, ever since the shutdown was lifted in Ohio. So I'm, I'm fine. Um, so don't tell Mike DeWine that, um, that I'm, there's going to be people over. Um, so then I'm going to, I've got, I didn't personally buy the turkey. Um, where we're going, that family had bought a turkey for all of us. So there's going to be, see, there's five of my family. They've got four. Um, so that's that's uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's maybe 15 of us there, right? And these are people that I hang around with all the time. So it's not people from out of state coming in, whatever. But anyway. She bought a 23 pound, well, actually 22 and change pound turkey. So then I'm going to be cooking that for a Saturday. So I'm going to be turkeyed out. The nice thing about that 22 pound turkey is the leftovers aren't coming to my house. So that'll stay at somebody else's house. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm rambling on. So I will see you guys uh, when I see you guys. And until then, all right, guys, cheers, peace out.